Hello, I'm Ed Boniface, past president of the Central Station Alarm Association. And I'm Pam Petro, president and CEO at Vector Security. Pam and I are co-chairs of the ASAP Steering Committee. And we're here to tell you about the importance of the Automated Secure Alarm Protocol Program, known as ASAP. ASAP is a new initiative that reduces the overall call volume at 911 centers or PSAPs. It significantly reduces processing time and cuts the potential for errors and miscommunication. That means you can free up your call center resources for other tasks and you can improve your ISO rating by increasing the speed of handling each call. I've been heavily involved in the ASAP program for many years now and have seen the benefits firsthand. Here at Vector, we've seen major benefits from the address and responding agency validation that occurs within the ASAP program, making sure that the correct agency is notified. We have also eliminated communication errors between Vector operators and the PSAP call takers. Our customers have benefited from reduced response times. The program is gaining traction. It's currently being deployed in Houston, Texas, Richmond, Virginia, Washington, D.C., Tempe, Arizona, and elsewhere. Because it's scalable, it can be rolled out effectively for any city of any size. Most importantly, the program enjoys the support of the International Association of Chiefs of Police, the International Association of Fire Chiefs, the National Sheriff's Association, and of course our partner in the program, APCO International. This video will shed more light on the ASAP to PSAP program. Take a look and see how the program can benefit your city. Thanks for watching. The City of Richmond is one of two PSATs, Public Safety Entry Points, to participate in the program. After analysis, we determined this program was worthwhile and an opportunity for us to provide excellent customer service to the citizens of Richmond. There's three primary goals. The first goal is to eliminate the telephone calls between alarm monitoring central stations and the 911 PSATs. The second goal is to eliminate or reduce the mistakes and miscommunications that can be made commonly between two human beings talking over the telephone. And the third goal is to reduce 911 processing time. If we can reduce 911 processing time by two to three minutes, that means a two to three minutes reduction in response times. When you call in an alarm to um, a 911 center, depending on the day and time, the, volume, the operator could be waiting on hold because of the volume of calls they're handling in the 911 center. Then once they get the operator on, they have to provide the name, address, and location of the alarm. So what could possibly go wrong is an you know, operator transposes two digits in a street address, go to the wrong street address. Possibly in some cities we've seen where it's the same street name like Main Street and Main Drive, and they provide street or drive, police are going to end up going to the wrong place. And then saying street names, depending on the community and the area, the pronunciation of street could be completely different. You know, ASAP takes the human errors out of the transaction, so you can't make all those mistakes. What ASAP does is take away the need to ask any questions about an alarm activation. Instead, all the data that that call taker would normally ask by telephone comes in to the CAD system and is processed as a call for service. All of the data that a call taker would have asked, and even more, is populated in that call for service and provides the first responders all the details that they need to know. The whole process takes a matter of about five seconds. The Houston Emergency Center is, is the fourth largest call center in the United States. We answer 3.2 million phone calls per year. Of those 3.2 million phone calls we answer per year, we dispatch about 1.3 million police units to calls for service. And then we dispatch another half million fire ambulance assets to calls for service on the fire side. 70% of the phone calls we receive come in the 911 line. 30% coming down the 10 digit line or the non-emergency line. The non-emergency line is where all those alarm calls come in. Now we, right now, with a small footprint of four alarm companies, have reduced call volume between 10 and 12% as far as phone calls come in. We predict that we could probably reduce another 50% on top of that if we had all the big players on board. I think the unexpected benefits are that the officers don't have to talk to the dispatchers as much as far as to find out who's the key holder, what's their phone number, the name of the alarm company, what's their phone number. They can handle that all themselves while dealing with the dispatcher. 
The officers in the field and the public safety responders love this program because of the precise information quickly and it, has, it provides the citizens immediate services. This program is a phenomenal program. It works. When you look at next generation technologies, you have to look at something that has a proven track record and something like this program that helps you provide excellent customer service to the citizens you serve.